if you're weird then we're not cool like y'all find all these gifts with your partner and y'all don't even like that shit hey girls i feel like it's been so long since we sat down and just chatted so i kind of want to switch up my content this week rather than do a vlog i wanted to do a like get ready with me or really updated makeup routine because i haven't done that in a minute and i literally haven't done anything really makeup related in a while and that's literally what i do for a living so i figured we'd just sit down and catch up and do makeup i guess this morning what you guys wanted to talk about so i'm gonna pull that up where's the primer that i want to use if y'all were to see what i'm working with down here <laughs> girl but starting off strong, how do I juggle being a new wife, a um, new business owner, and how do I have time for myself? Honestly, um, kind of like I still feel the same way like a few vlogs back. This is the Kevin O'Quan um, sensual, sensual sens skin enhancer. I don't know, but this little pod. I'm just going to correct some things first. But um, honestly, there really is no secret sauce for that. I get this question all the time and I be struggling, girl, I be dying. Like there's no secret sauce on anything that I'm doing. I have the same struggles. Well, I don't wanna say as everyone else because everyone's, you know, obviously has different things going on in their life. But honestly, I be struggling. I have really bad days. I have really good days. What, what kind of gets me through though, I'm not gonna lie, is not overwhelming myself and not setting unrealistic expectations. Like, I used to plan my months out in advance. I'm talking like I used to, when I used to like pump out content like on a weekly basis, like I used to do the same thing with work too. I used to have everything planned. I used to have the meals planned. I used to have everything planned around the house, like parties, events, outings with my friends. I don't do that anymore i don't i have too much going on too many things that pop up so for me it's just not realistic and i just take it day by day and i know that's so like oh my god man you could have thought you could have thought something a little bit better but it's really true like that's all i do i i really just take it day by day i don't give myself unrealistic expectations like when it comes to anything when it comes to work when it comes it's not like i have low expectations like i don't try my hardest every day i do but i don't like talk bad to myself when i don't get something done i used to do that a lot and sometimes i still do that but i'm not as bad as what i used to be like at all like i don't take it as hard like if i couldn't get to something then it's okay we'll save it for the next day you know and that's what helped me kind of get my mental back on a lot of things like when it comes to just work mainly because you know i have to give myself grace because it is a brand new business it's not one of those businesses where you know you can neglect or you can run from home like i have to physically be there some days and i got a comment on one of my videos because i did speak on this a little bit in one of my vlogs and someone wrote a comment which was no no shape no nothing i'm not even like mad at them for saying this but it just was like clearly like they were saying like oh you need to hire a bookkeeper you need to hire someone to clean the salon you need it if i would i could you know what i'm saying like if i if i had the funds and like if i not saying like the funds aren't, aren't there really but it's a new business and i and i and i rather just kind of do some things myself and cut corners where I can you know what I'm saying like I don't need to have like a big fancy um marketing team I don't have a big I don't have any of that I'm doing everything myself because that's what my budget allows like you know what I'm saying like I would love to have a fancy CPA I would love to have all these things but at the end of the day it's a salon and I have clients you know what I'm saying? Like I have a real, not saying that influencing is not, I really don't want to get my words twisted, but like every day I'm supposed to be somewhere. Like I would, I wouldn't call it a nine to five, but I got a six to 10. I mean, I got a 10 to six, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
I like I, I mean it's a job you know like sometimes it's hard sometimes it's very rewarding and sometimes it's annoying you know what I'm saying so it is what it is like I, everything that I say please take it with a grain of salt I'm just a regular person dealing with regular hardships and becoming an adult and becoming a business owner you know what I'm saying but of course that is the goal to have all those fancy things and have my business essentially running itself but right now is really just you know I, I'm coming up on a year of being open and I see a lot of those things happening in the new year but just not right now you know what I'm saying I have to do the things that I'm doing now like I'm sorry I have to like do my eyebrows off camera but um as far as like my marriage and stuff like that like thankfully he's just so understanding and he doesn't really expect much from me as far as like a lot of house duties and stuff like that we are fortunate enough to have like cleaners and stuff and as far as like cooking like y'all know i love cooking but he's not pressed on me cooking every day and stuff like that if i get to it i get to it if i don't we are downtown so takedown is much easier but yeah, he's super understanding and he knows like it is temporary because he does, I mean, all men love to be baby, but he does know that I have a new business that I am very passionate about and I want it to work. And with all the things that I do for my business, like with doing the marketing, with doing the clients and all the other stuff, um, I am learning a lot. Like I am learning where i can put my money in the business and what's just not necessary so yeah he, he understands like and like i said he's been in business for over 20 years like he's been in his profession so um he knows exactly what it's like to be a new business owner and stuff like that so yeah we're good as far as self-care that is something that i will say i struggle with daily so that is something that I'm working on right now. Like I'm working on, you know, just making sure that I'm still living life and having fun still, you know what I mean? Like that's like what I would say I'm currently working on because since I open, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't have much of a social life. Like, okay, how do you keep up with your friends? Um, tell us about them, the good ones and the bad ones. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, y'all will be surprised. Okay. I see, I don't be messy on this YouTube thing, but I feel like we're friends and I feel like the people who are listening are my friends. And if you're just zooming to get to one spot, then you're a fucking weirdo. But honestly, like, I've never, I've probably maybe have had maybe two friendship fallouts in my adult life really like i really don't fall out with my friends like and if i have fallen out with you you're messy like that's the only time i've ever 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 have felt fallen out with somebody like they had this one girl she was just like <sighs> basically just messy like just messy just turning things that i say into something that it's completely not in the but I took it like very personally because I feel like if you take things the way I say and they're clearly not bad things and flip them into something bad just to kind of like have something to say with you talking to other people or whatever like I feel like you're weird and so I don't like weird bitches I feel like if you're weird then we're not cool like that was the only that was the only thing I really didn't like like she would I would say another thing that I fall out with some people would be just not spending enough time with my friends and I don't know if this makes me a bad friend or not but bitch I got things to do okay and I don't I'm not off every weekend and I'm not like and even the little time that I do get off I kind of just want to sleep or like spend time with my husband so but what I did with that I kind of like those were I would say like high school friends and stuff like that like with those friends those friends kind of like fell out like not fell out but like kind of fell off i kind of like didn't get rid of them but those friendships kind of fade i feel like your adult friends kind of understand like you shouldn't have those type of issues and so i think the best thing that i've ever done was 
I am just friends with people that have shit to lose and have their own shit going on. But thankfully, like, even when I do go through, like, little things that, you know, maybe, like, I'm going through things at work or going through things to myself, thankfully I have friends that don't get upset when I'm not available to do things. But with me as your friend, I'm very honest. Like, I'll tell you, like, look, bitch, I haven't been able to leave my bed in a few days. Like, you know, like, I'm really going through it. Like, you know. A bitch will be back soon you know i'm not on my deathbed and i'm not like contemplating unaliving myself but a bitch ain't doing good you know i don't mind like telling them that like or like girl like i feel like i'm a million pounds or whatever like i'm very honest with my friends like if i say that i can't do something they don't know why it's not a mr bitch like i feel like if i'm your friend i can be honest enough to tell you that now of course like if it's a birthday or a special event or some like not monumental thing but like just something that's important to them i would never miss it but as far as like the constant hangouts every weekend or the constant calling and everything i'm just not that type of person and thankfully all my friends are that i have in my life right now are like the same way oh my god i look crazy i look so pale I'm just gonna put a little bit on my neck, I guess, and my chest, so I don't look too, too crazy. But yeah, I don't know if that was like any advice, but that's just kind of like where I'm at in my life right now. Like all my friends are super low maintenance and they understand it. I saw a post that said, um, oh, just cause you're low maintenance or something like that. It's basically like saying like, if you're a bad friend, just say that or something like that. But I'm just like, dang, like what, do y'all not have lives? Like why do we have to hang out every day? How is married life going and how is the new house going? Oh my God, you remember that? I, I didn't think, I got like three questions about my house. Like I, um, dang, that was like in a few vlogs ago, like months ago. But update on the house, y'all. If y'all live in New Orleans or you're, I don't know, like buying a house right now is awful. And like building a house right now, is awful like everything is so bad right now the market so um we actually were gonna build a house a few years ago like right when we got engaged in 2020 we bought two lots we're gonna put them together and build our dream house then we got married then we moved and sold our other house then we moved down to it's been about two years and we came across this house randomly. My husband actually did. He came across the house and loved it. And we actually went to go see a few houses that were just being built. They're like in construction or whatever. So he brought me to a bunch of houses and there was one house that I just absolutely fell in love with. And we got it right then and there. So it took about a week or something. But, so yeah, I do have a house. <laughs> but um, it's not ready yet. It's supposed to be ready early September. So that's the plan. So yeah, it was very like, like, I don't know, like just kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't want to say last minute or whatever because there's really no rush in doing anything right now. But it was very like just spontaneous and it, but it, we just loved the house. It was, it had all the characteristics that we, we love and we were just obsessed we we're like i don't think you know we'll be able to find anything like this like anywhere else it's in the neighborhood that we love okay, so yeah we do have a home and i will give you guys a tour on that soon i meant to give you guys a tour of my last home but um girl moving is such a bitch like i oof, i think i went mia for a little minute again but um yeah so we do have a home it's gorgeous i will definitely be keeping you guys updated on that i'm probably going to move mid-september but um i also hate moving so if y'all know any moving companies please send them like we we ordered we not ordered we hired bike love service during our last move and it was absolutely awful like the guys did not know how to pack shit up did not organize anything it was just a hot ass fucking mess and i would never hire them again i look you want to like save the company but i'm not but if you guys know any like white glove 
thing or whatever place that can like pack up my apartment that I've been in. But there's really not much here. I threw a lot of stuff away. So, um, yeah, the good thing is I don't have much here. So the move from here to the house will be much, much easier. I'm just blending out this blush first before I start blending out everything else. And this blush is happy. And then, oh, the contour was this, um, what's this called? The Chanel bronzer. I think it's like in two or three, one of the two. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm currently doing right now. I love the downtown life. I think it's great. I'm not obsessed with this uh, condo that I picked. Um, it wasn't my best choice, but I picked it literally right after our honeymoon when I was all over the place. So it's definitely not my, my, my favorite, but obviously I didn't want to move again. Um, as you guys, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but um, I'm a mother, you know? <laughs> like, I'm just playing, but I do have a, I do have a stepdaughter. Um, and she is, you know, a little preteen, so I'm not gonna have her move in a million times, you know? So I just kind of like told him that we'll we'll just kind of kick it here until we find a home. So, but yeah, it's not my favorite place to live. I thought it would be a little bit more luxury than this, but, cause that's what it says online. And I did like a virtual tour and I think we signed a lease like the next day. <laughs> so I didn't really like do my research like I should have. But I mean, it has some pros to it, but it also has a lot of cons. Like, I do love how I don't know anybody here because, like, it has nothing to do with social media or having a following because I don't really have a big following or anything like that. But, like, when you are a business owner in New Orleans, um, you know, other businesses know you and stuff like that. And it is like an easier way to kind of get known in New Orleans by having a business. So, the good thing is, like, I don't have a lot of people here that I know. So that's a good thing. I don't have to do like any small talk when I'm trying to take my groceries. Questions, um, like how is business going? What have you learned? What are some of your favorite things and stuff like that? What I'm learning in business is, you know, every business is different. Google is okay, but a lot of things you will be learning on the fly. A lot of things you will learn by being present in your business and not running away. A lot of things in business you, what I'm realizing is a lot of people want the cloud of having a business or want the cloud of, you know, a lot of people that you see on the internet, like with all these businesses and stuff like that, it's not real. That's what I'm saying. And like a lot of times, and this is no shade to anybody, it's great if you have all that. A lot of people open businesses, but they're actually not a part of the business. And I think with me being a part of the business and owning the business, I think it's totally different and it just, kind of makes me feel really proud of myself because a lot of the things that I'm doing, it's, you know, I'm doing it all on my own, you know? So I think that's like, you know, really rewarding for me. Um, it's definitely not easy, especially running a salon where there's all women. I have a staff of eight girls, including myself, it's nine. So I think, you know, thankfully I'm a woman's woman and I want everybody to feel appreciated and I can I can confidently say if, if you spoke to any of the girls today, they will say that I'm, you know, I appreciate them. I appreciate everyone. I kind of give everybody their, you know, their flowers as much as I can. I try to stay really present with them and any things that they have going on and be like really supportive. And I'm very open, like if, um, you know, if they need anything. I guess some advice that I would give, like anybody wanting to open up a business or even having a business like at home or whatever, I think learning to work all aspects of your business, I think is very, very important. I think putting off on certain things that you're not really knowledgeable about to someone else kind of creates the, like, the floor or kind of creates the area where you can potentially get you know taken advantage of. So I think edu educating yourself about all things in your business is very important. Even though it may take time, it may take you know a few sleepless nights, it may take you like crying some days because you don't understand. I think really taking the time to understand all aspects of your business is probably one of the best things that I have done and what I am putting myself through because. I'm more appreciative and 
I know how things are so when I am looking to hire out certain things or you know when I do get the chance to look for people to help me and stuff like that I know exactly what I'm looking at. Do you have any tips for a small content creator? I'm a small content creator to be honest. <laughs> I don't really have like a big following but um but it, I, I'm not gonna lie like surprisingly TikTok has been like booming for me which is crazy because I just I, I genuinely like putting videos together so I think maybe people like that I don't know but um I think tips for influencers or like people that want to do it I honestly think that I don't know I don't have the secret sauce never like everybody I feel like if you've been following for a while please don't ever think that I got it all together because baby I don't I'm out here just like you I just like to film myself but anyways um just to let y'all know that y'all are not alone because your girl is winging it every day but as far as like content creation I just would say like anything that i i think just being consistent you know whatever that looks like for you if that's uploading once a month three times a week once a week you know just finding a routine i think but yeah i think with any influencer honestly i think quality is important i know it's like a bad thing to say like oh i don't want you going out and buying like some expensive stuff like you can definitely buy cheaper things to do what you need to do but i think um yeah like quality stuff is important and like you know I think it kind of grabs the attention of people sometimes because I know when I'm following people and stuff like that like I kind of fall in love with like how they're shooting their content so but that's just me I don't know but y'all did ask me so I'm, that's just what I'm saying I don't think you need the fanciest equipment but I do think you need to know how to use it I do think you need to know how to edit your own videos and stuff like that kind of like going back to like my advice on like any other job you know if you want this to be your job you need to like know what you're doing kind of thing you don't need to know everything but you need to know like i would say you need to know how to all right do you have any marital advice even though you've only been married a year um no not really like i feel like you have to just you have to love the person you're with like you are gonna go through probably so many things in life and as long as you have love there i think you'll be fine you know what i'm saying i think obviously the normal advice that you get you know the compromising you know all the things like i feel like the best thing that i've learned since me and my husband been together would honestly be you know the power of your words are very important so think before you say i think that's the biggest thing that i've learned in my marriage because, you know, things can get spicy, you know, feelings can get hurt, you know. So just make sure that you're, the power of the tongue is just so important. I have so many, you know, things that I've written in my journal about that. You know, it's just really being respectful, really think, really understanding your partner's like needs, I think are really, really important. I think figuring out your, per your person's love, your partner's love language, I think is really really important because it saves a lot of time and it saves a lot of heartbreak because you can be doing something or think that you're doing something for your partner that they would so love but they don't even give a shit about so i think just figuring out what your person loves and what your person is into you know what i'm saying i think that's one of the honestly that is the biggest thing because your love language cannot could probably not be their love language so you need to figure out your partner and hopefully you do it before you they get married you get married and stuff like that but you know figuring that out is so important because like i said your feelings could get hurt because you think that you're doing this and this and that and that person don't give a shit about that type of stuff you know what i'm saying like you probably like you probably your love language is probably gifts and you know stuff like that so you're buying all these gifts with your partner and they don't even like that shit so you know what i'm saying figure out what your partner likes. I thought I answered this question, maybe my last one, but a lot of people ask like, how did I meet my husband? We met at a bar in New Orleans and it was very like simple. Like he asked for my number and that was pretty much it. But what stood out to him, he was like the only guy still, like literally the only guy that I've ever met to call me and ask me on a date. Like, which is crazy. Cause I live in the South and you would think that people are like super like, I don't know like just super nice and stuff like that but he is such a gentleman 
he um, literally called me and asked me on a date. So I think that's what stood out to him. To, to like without knowing him or anything like that, that's what stood out. And I don't really have like a another fun fact. A lot of people don't know this, but I'll, I really don't have a big history, like a dating history. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. I probably. I don't want to say that because that's probably too personal, but I really don't have a big dating life. Like for the longest, like when I moved out of my parents' house at 18, I uh, I lived by myself and I had three jobs, no two jobs really, but I was doing freelancing makeup. I was working at the mall and I had a nighttime job. I was a cocktail waitress at this like club bar situation. So I really didn't really have time to date. I really didn't have time to do anything. And that was like for, I would say like three years. I was, I dated, I had a high school sweetheart. And then after that, I just kind of was doing my own thing. And I really loved it. But when my husband came along and, you know, called me and stuff like that, I was like, wow. Like, you know, cause I mean, guys would slide into my DMs, like stuff like that, whatever, whatever. But like, no one's ever like approached me like that. And I, I just was like, damn, like this is giving, like, oh, this is the, the deal or whatever. But I, I was like, wow, like, he is, he know what he want, like, you know, you know, one of those things. So, yeah, that was that. Like, I, I don't have a big history. Like, I don't have a big history of dating anybody. I, I don't really have much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always just really worked like I've always just kind of had my own little thing and I've always liked it that way I will say that that is probably like a toxic trait of mine I could definitely I mean now that I'm married no I can never see myself without my husband but before I met him I definitely always thought that I was just gonna be like the rich auntie and just kind of be with myself and have businesses all over the world and stuff like that I just always thought that I was just gonna be alone not like I have any toxic like really history like you know what I'm talking about like I I really just love to work at the time or whatever like I, at the time I was just so like ambitious or whatever and I still am like I'm not saying I'm not but it was just I think it was like a little OD and I didn't even realize it and it was kind of like toxic at the, at the time so um yeah that's kind of that on that I really don't have much I think but I, I think sometimes when I think back on how, how like I was when I was single, I think that I learned to be by myself and I was okay with it. And I think that probably, I think that was probably attracted to my husband when we first met because he always just like, you know, I am like pretty independent. So I, I don't know if that was, I probably should ask him like, what was so attractive? I really don't know, but and I would think that if you are okay with being by yourself first and you're pouring into yourself, I think, you know, you're able to date after that. I don't think that you should, you know, yearn for something when you don't have that something in yourself. So, I don't know, that's just me. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't really know. And I don't really have a highlighter. My makeup is so crappy, like, look at this. I'm just using, I used this color with the thing. I used this as my, oops, I used this as my highlighter. And I don't put highlighter on my thing. I don't know why. I just feel like, I don't know. I just haven't in a while. So this is kind of like my makeup. I would say like my work makeup, my go out makeup. I do need a lash fill. They are looking a little sparse. Oh, and this is like my favorite lip liner. I don't know why it's so small though. This is the one size rent do. I love that name, it's so cute. All right, what lip do I wanna put on today? I, I have been liking this um, lip balm by Kylie. I saw her put it on in one of her TikToks and I've never been influenced to buy something Quicker. I don't know, it just seemed like the perfect pink. And it's like creamy, because I don't really like matte. It's crazy, because I like my skin to be matte, but I don't like my, let's see. I can put on as much as I want, and it doesn't like get too, too crazy.
but I don't even have any mascara. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this little sample that I got. Sometimes like mascara, I swear, I'd just be like putting it together. I love it. Yeah, this is like my little like makeup look. I'm gonna put my hair like in a little sleek. But it's very like it's definitely. I find when I like instead of putting my hair like down when I put it up, it kind of gives me like a little, you know. All right, so I kind of always kind of leave this little area not as flat, but I do make sure the sides are nice and sleek. All right, then I go on with two scrunchies and I kind of go around this little thing and then I just split it into two and I just kind of go like that and leave a little tail out just so it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard even though <laughs> this shit takes forever I am going to spray lock everything in with some setting spray all right, so that was my updated base routine, updated Q&A. Hopefully we're on the same page when it came to a few things. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me, um, whether it's vlogs, trial hauls. I do still go shopping a lot. So if you guys want to see like maybe what I bought this month or something like that, let me know. I can make a dedicated video to that. Try out a few things, try on hauls, whatever. Um, I'm here on YouTube. Follow me on all my other things. TikTok, like I said, I do post a little bit more on TikTok. Instagram, obviously I use my stories a lot if you want to keep up with me daily. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.